time the wind and the sun got into an argument. They each felt that they were stronger than the other. I'm stronger. No, I'm stronger. No, I'm stronger. No, I'm stronger. It's so clear I'm stronger. I don't think so. Oh, please. What can you do? They don't miss sunshine. Well, I know how to be polite. How about you? You breathe, you. Why, you, you. I can blow really hard. What can you do? Is that all? Puffing and puffing. Even the big, bad wolf can do better than you. Oh, please. All you do is give people a sunburn. Whereas I can turn buildings and houses upside down. That's because you're cruel and cold. They argued the whole day, but then it was time for the sun to set and for the moon to take over the night. So they had no choice but to give it a rest. I'm stronger! No, I'm stronger! I'm stronger! I'm stronger! I'm stronger! No, I'm stronger! Uh, See? You have to take a rest. Told you you were weak. Oh, babe, quiet. I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> the next day, as soon as it was sunrise, they continued their argument. See? You can't even stay up all night. It proves nothing. It just means I'm smart and know how to keep healthy. Look, this is getting us nowhere. We need to get someone really old and wise to solve this disagreement. Who do you have in mind? How about a cloud? Mm, too fluffy. How about the moon? Mm, not bright enough. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I've got it. The North Star. True. Hmm. He's old. He's bright. He's perfect. Let's go see him now. So they approached the North Star for some advice. You have come to me about a problem? Yes. Oh, no, Star. You want to know? No, 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 no. Don't tell me you want to know who is the strongest. You or the sun? How does he do that? You must have a competition. When you live here, you will meet a man. He will be wearing a coat. How do you know that? I'm the North Star. All look to me for direction. Oh, okay. The first one of you to get the coat of a man's bag is the strongest. Now, excuse me, I need to point north. So the sun and the wind left and they started to look out for the man in the coat. Hey, there he is. That's the man. Now step aside. Watch me blow his coat right up. had a chance to stop him, the wind continued to blow with all of his might. <sighs> what kind of crazy wind is this? You hear that? He called you crazy. He can call me anything he wants, as long as he takes his coat off. The wind was so strong that the man nearly fell over and his coat swept wildly about him. The harder the wind blew, the more the man held tightly onto his coat. <sighs> what a nasty cold wind! <sighs> oh no, he zipped up tight. I give up. I can't get the coat off his back. It's my turn, Mr. Sun. Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Slowly and gradually, it began to get warmer and warmer. And the man began to feel the sun's rays beating down on him. Phew, he's starting to get hot. Look, my mini friend, look at the man now. He hasn't taken his coat off yet. Patience, Win. Patience. After the freezing cold of the wind, the man began to feel warm. 
Well, you see, without the rain, we can't have enough water and the plants can't live. I guess you're right. We do need rain. Well, do you want to see rain in here? You mean right here? Yeah. No way! That's totally awesome! Well, then get ready for some awesomeness! Let's go! Yeah. Now, why does it rain? Let's see what some of our friends have to say. Because the sun needs to take a rest. Without the sun, the rain needs to take over that day. Look, the sun has not enough energy to take the whole day. Because animals and plants need water. Because it is cloudy and stormy. Because the clouds are heavy. I know rain comes from clouds. But why do clouds give us rain? Well, you see, warm air has invisible water that's called water vapor. So when the warm air rises up, it cools. And the water vapor will form water drops. And they will then form clouds. So clouds is made out of teeny tiny drops of water? Exactly. When the clouds get too big with all the tiny drops of water, the tiny drops of water will join together to form even bigger drops. Like in those big gray clouds? Yup. And rain will fall when the clouds are big and heavy and they will fall as rain. So when the clouds become very heavy, it will drip back down like rain. That's right. Now how about let's do a cool experiment and make our own rain. Yeah, I can't wait. Great. Now right here, I have a jug of warm water. Now Yaya, I want you to put that metal plate on top of the jar, please. Good job! And Yo-Yo, I want you to add a few ice cubes on the plate. Alright. Done it! Great! Now we're going to see what will happen in one minute. Let's wait! <laughs> Drops of water at the bottom of the plate. Yeah, it's dripping back down like rain. Yep, you see, the warm air from the hot water actually rose up to the bottom of the plate. And then when we put ice cubes on the plate, it cools the plate. And then the water vapour will turn into water drops. And when the drops become too heavy, it'll drip back down like rain. That's right, it's just like rain from the big grey clouds. And we make rain in a jar. Yep. So boys and girls, go ahead and give it a try at home. But remember to get someone older to help you with the hot water. Hey, since we have a break now, I want to go in quickly and tell Mummy and Daddy about it. Okay, let's go.
What will I wear in this weather? That's right. Both teams will be given a set of cards each. The cards will show the type of weather or the clothing they have to wear for the certain type of weather. Teams, you have to match the clothing to the weather. Now both teams will have to complete this game and the fastest team that gets everything correctly wins. Teams, are you ready? Yes? yes. Now can I hear your support for the rating? Red team! Red team! Red team! Red team! Now can I hear your support for the blue team? Red team! Red team! Well, so see you again for more good times on... Mars Yo-Yo! <laughs>